All right, so welcome to our tutorial video on how to actually add a copy to your Kindle e-reader device mark record. And um, as Roxanne and I are getting set up this morning, um, we will have our little sticky note with the serial number handy um, as Roxanne gets ready to input the information. So we have the mark record open, and again, we use Destiny Library Manager. So uh, Roxanne now um, is going to click on Add Copies to actually begin that process. So as we go through, um, first thing she's going to input is the actual barcode number. Now with the barcodes, we have set aside a specific range for our e-reader devices, um, beginning with 8300. However, Roxanne very astutely observed that it would be best to begin with 83001 and moving forward in that sequence so that the barcode number actually corresponds with the device number. So 83001 is Kindle 1, uh, 83002 will be this uh, second Kindle device that we're now adding. All right, so we've got the barcode number added. Um, now Roxanne is going to enter our call number. And we decided for our call number uh, naming scheme uh, that we are using EQ and then Kindle and then the name of the actual device with uh, only a space between EQ and then the Kindle 2. Yeah, I didn't leave us put a space between Kindle and 2 because then when we print our call numbers out, it would have put the number 2 on the third line. Okay, so these are, again, minutia details but very important uh, in the grand scheme of things. Now she's going to input the purchase price, uh, which for us was $189 since we did the uh, higher end device with Wi-Fi and 3G. Uh, we are now going to change the circulation type and it's going to be equipment. And then we are going to use the default date acquired. Okay. All right. Now we're going to be moving down a little bit into volume, issue, and et cetera. And Roxanne now is going to input the description. Um, and in that first line, we are going to add the serial number. Correct. So we're going to let her type that. All right. And again, this is probably not the most glamorous or exciting part of um, cataloging your devices, but again, very important to think through these details as you uh, get ready to pilot your program. We decided to put the serial number in this part of the record rather than in the actual um, mark record because this way it will show up in the catalog and we can see it every time um, the record comes up. And that was important to us to be able to track that information easily. She now has added two as the actual copy number in that field. And then we are going to add sublocation, is that correct? Correct. Okay. And tell us a little bit about that decision making process. Since we're going to have the Kindles at the circulation desk, this will then show up in the record when the students look it up in the catalog and they'll know where to, to come to the circulation desk to ask us for a Kindle. And again, this was something that we actually thought of. We had written our protocols, but as Roxanne went through adding the first one, she realized that was an important piece of information to improve access for our students. We're now going to add the vendor number, and we do have Amazon in our list of vendors. And then for us, our funding source um, is going to be FTE funding 2010-11, and that's our state funding uh, that we get from uh, the Department of Education of the state of Georgia. All right, so we have input all of those fields, and at this point, we will save the copy. Yay. And now we have number two. Yay. So we uh, just wanted to share with you again that process, just so you could kind of visualize, even if you're not on Destiny Library Manager, um, the kind of the thinking that um, has gone into um, the protocols for adding those copies, and we hope you find our video helpful. Thank you for watching.